my god, it came dripping. That is so gross. Hey y'all, it's me, and today I am just going to be showing you guys my at-home quarantine workout. Now, originally I was filming another video, and then I just wasn't turning out the way I wanted to, but then I looked at myself in the camera, and I was playing back my footage, and I'm like, Oh my god. This bitch is ugly. So, not ugly, but fat. But, you know, so to fix that, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get active. I'm just gonna show you guys personally how I'm going to start working out. There's really not much equipment needed, and if there is, I will go ahead and put the description, I'll go ahead and put the link in the, in the description down below. And all you guys have to do is follow what I'm doing. And if you guys like this video, and if you guys wanna see something else, something different, go ahead and comment down below. What exactly do you guys want to see next? Do you guys want to see me doing a prank? Would you like to see me doing a challenge? Now, without further ado, let's get into it! Yeah, get into it! So right now I'm basically just putting on this sweet sweat cream that I got on Amazon. I heard it works really well. And I've been trying it out for at least three, four months now and I'm just gonna spread that all over my arms because that's where I need to lose weight the most. And I'm going to put it all over my body on where exactly I want to sweat. And it has a lot of good reviews. I personally recommend it if you want to get an extra workout sweat in to go ahead and buy this. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description down below. So I'm going to go ahead and drink some water because I need to stay hydrated up in this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my three pound weights that we're going to be using in this video and then we're also going to be getting this strapped stretcher whatever you use it when you do your butt workouts so we're going to go ahead and do a little butt workout to start off our little routine our first exercise what we're going to do is the chair jumps now begin your feet hip distance apart your toes a bit outward Place the chair behind you. Now hold your hands in front of you. Now bend the hips and reach out with your sit bones to the chair as you're trying to sit on it. When you touch the chair, press the feet to the ground and jump, stretching your arms behind you. As you prepare to initiate the jump, your ar the, the arms swing back and hips hinge. Land softly with knees bent. So we're gonna do another butt workout. We're gonna do something called reverse lunge to step up. From a standing position, hold a dumbbell in each hand and rise your arms over your head. Step back with your right leg into a reverse lunge, bend your elbows and, and lower the dumbbells to the back. As you raise up from the lunge, bring your knee up to hip height and lift the dumbbells over your head and repeat with the left leg. I am also 99.9% .9 sure I did not do this workout properly because I didn't really understand how to do it, but I feel like you guys will get it better than I will. We're going to be doing abs now so it's called an above head sit ups so lie on your back on the floor or bench bend your knees and put the feet hip distance apart place your hands above your head exhale and crunch reaching with your hands to the ceiling inhale and lie down on the floor
So we're going to do a thigh and butt workout right now. We're gonna grab our stretchy band and we're gonna start doing 12 squats. I really like these stretch bands because they have their own sets of workouts on them that you can do yourself at home. So we're gonna be doing monster steps for 60 seconds with the band on. For one minute, we're gonna be doing knee kicks with the band on, and we're also going to repeat that once again after our 30 minute rest. For one minute we're going to be doing donkey kicks and you don't have to repeat this but if you are more advanced than me then I would do that as well. For the upcoming workout I saw this workout on TikTok and I call them side thrusts. I don't think that they're really thrusts but you're going to do that 20 times and as you can see I got very tired. So right now we're going to be working out our arms and shoulders and we're going to do this twice. Now it's called the dumbbell press with 45 degree leg hold. So just watch what I'm doing and I'm pretty sure I did not do this right but just follow along because I just wanted to get an extra sweat in. Now what we're going to do here is hip thrust. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I really need to explain any further. So we're going to move on with a full body workout and this is called mountain climbers. You're going to do this for two minutes and after you're done you're going to rest for 30 seconds. So for one minute, we're going to go ahead and do high knees, stay in one spot, lift one leg off the floor, bring your knee high up to your waist, yada yada yada, I feel like this is very self-explanatory. Self this is kind of what this does for you if you use the cream and you use this. So let me go ahead and take this off. Oh my god, it came dripping. That is so gross. If you can do more than me, then just do this two times. Oh my god. I think this worked me out so much. And the reason why I'm like super out of it, because one, I haven't done this in a while, in like a few weeks. Two, I had junk food over the weekend. Three, because I used that sweat cream, so I kind of used it almost everywhere after I was done taping that. I couldn't have filmed where else I, I used that, but I definitely used it all over my body. So that, that kind of gives you like an extra sweat. I am not a professional. I don't work out all the time. This is just my guide of doing it, like my personal self because I do have a weight problem. I have high cholesterol and everything like that. So this is just my personal way of how I've been losing weight recently and how I do it. But forgive me, you guys. I'm doing the best I could without overdoing it. But yeah, I'm not a professional. This isn't something I do all the time, which I'm going to start to do all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and make a follow-up video of this to show how much progress I've accomplished. I'm super glad you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys later on this week or next week.